Okay, battery died the last time. Mr. Barney, there you go. Okay. As I was saying in the other video, you want to utilize something like a water weld and you fill in the back because the back is like this. So it gives you a chance to fill it in and then you want to flatten it out so it sits flat. Pretty much that's what we did. Next step will be uh, drilling a hole. We're going to want to drill a hole here at this spot over here. I'm going to want to drill a hole exactly around the same spot. And your beak sits really nice. Pretty much you're going to do a first hole here. And a hole here. basically go all the way through and check it out on this side too as well if you want you got your bit there test it if you want it's right there so the hole goes right through and then you're ready to you're ready to treat this because you don't want a fly landing on it you don't want uh, maggots to be laid on it so what you want to do is utilize a clear nail polish or nail hardener and then you want to treat the whole beak so that the beak itself comes out like this beak over here. You're going to do the skin and go around the top of the, uh, the beak to, towards the feathers all the way around into the hole, into the nostril. You're going to do underneath and you're going to do the same in here. And then you're going to add it to, uh, to a choker or to a necklace. If you add it to a necklace, you're going to want a sleeve. So you're going to want to glue on a piece of deer hide. And you're going to shape it to, to this shape over here. And then uh, again, you'll run your strings out. And you'll notice that where the holes are, it'll it'll keep the beak itself from tilting tilting down. So it actually keeps it on you. And there you go. That's how you that's how you prepare an eagle beak for a piece of jewelry. And this one here will be flattened out, and then it'll be prepared. Already got holes in it. I'm just going to cover it up with this stuff. This is going on a necklace, so you notice that there's not much of the beak. Uh, normally the beak will be cut a little bit more, so it's just this part of the beak. And again, it's the string will be coming out of the nostril since it's hanging without uh, the full back to it. We cut right underneath the eyes. So this will be where the eyeball is. Uh, we're going to go and do our cut this way. There's just a slight pit of the eye that remains. And it gives you a beautiful beak. Make sure you have your permits and licenses. I do. Uh, well appreciated. And thank you very much to the Ministry of Environment. Right, Mr. Barney? Yeah, that's for sure. Thank you very much, Mr. Evans. And uh, you guys are remarkable. Pleased to be able to... Uh, provide you guys uh, with videos on how to prepare your, your beaks. There you go, Mr. Leroy. Take this.
beautiful necklace. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful necklace. This is the uh, necklace I was talking about. Put this here. Yeah, very beautiful, right? When did we make this one? One of the first ones, Martin. Yeah, went downtown, picked up the beads. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. Very, very nice. There you go, Mr. Barney. Always a pleasure to have you around. Thank you. Mr. Yeah, yeah, Basil. yeah. You're very much welcome. You learn well. Oh, good harvesting, Leroy. Very mm good. -hmm. Yeah, we're just starting our season. Went out, uh, what, two days ago? Found uh, part of a wing. Yeah. Two days ago. I went out there with a dead camera. Couldn't take pictures of the wing. I fixed my uh, my Minolta. Disappointed with it. Should have bought a Sony. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>